Hey guys and welcome back. I wanted to show you a um, couple of tricks how you can make your dashboards much more pretty, convenient, compact and uh, just overall easier to use. Um, I have my Sabix open here, it's 7.0, um, doesn't really matter in this case and you know there are dashboards, uh, you know you can edit them and you can create your own widgets. There's uh, pretty much a variety of uh, all sort of the visualization options that you can choose and go with. And uh, it's not that bad, like really, it's uh, pretty much good, uh, especially comparing of how the Zabbix was, uh, how the visualization part was achieved in the Zabbix, like in a version 3.0 or something like that, when it was hard to imagine how you could uh, seamlessly visualize some sort of the data without using a Grafana. Uh, right now you can have pretty good result uh, in a Zabbix frontend itself. But still, whenever you're working with the dashboards and sometimes like, you know, there's some specific widgets that you need to fit into the dashboard and the dashboard has to go on some sort of the TV that sits on the wall of your office where or something like that. And just doesn't fit, right? Either you need to squeeze it so much that like legend uh, breaks the new lines where it's uh, impossible to see what the data actually is or whatever, whatever. And also like these um, headers, I guess they're called like that, like they're visible here, but you can hide them with disabling this show header checkbox and then it kind of disappears. But if you have this selected for multiple widgets and this is not a dashboard which is sitting on a TVs on the walls and nobody's touching it and you're actually browsing it from time to time, then you get this uh, also a little bit of annoying user experience that whenever you move your mouse, the headers of the widgets always pop up, right? And uh, uh, it's a small thing. Uh, for someone, it's going to be nothing. Uh, for someone, it's going to be quite... Uh, amusing and and would rather get rid of it so <clears throat> to help you um make your dashboards more compact and also get rid of this uh, pop-up header of the widget i'm going to show you how you can uh, install and use two free uh, modules not a widgets uh from initmax they're free you don't need to pay anything just go download and uh start using whatsoever so one is a compact dashboard and the second is called hide widget header. I've, I'm making a video about like two at once just because I think they have a pretty good synergy together to improve your dashboards and overall visualization. So that would be the hiding the widget header. Um, and, and this is, uh, this one will show you, I guess. So right now you see there's a line between the widgets and then we enable the module and go back to the dashboards and voila, like there's, super small uh, difference between super small spacing between the widgets and you actually save some space and uh, the dashboard itself look, looks much more clean. And now getting to the point of like how you can actually install it, I have a WSL um, up and running, Alma Linux 9 as usual. Um, you need to go to the directory where all of the Zabbix modules are actually stored. And by default, that is a user share Zabbix modules. It's also mentioned it here in the wiki page. Uh, or if you have a latest Zabbix 7.4, I believe it might be in the user share Zabbix slash UI. Um, also, for the sake of uh, these two modules, please pay attention about the requirements. Uh, requirements you can find under the get module button which you normally don't need if you just plan to install it. So if we click here, uh, then here under the requirements, we can see that supported version is 62647.0 and a minimal supported PHP version is 8.0. And if we go for the hide uh, widget header, again, scroll down, get module requirements, supported Zabbix version 7.0, supported PHP version 8.0 or later. Um, that's important to keep in mind if you are setting this up, because unfortunately, um, <clears throat> the framework of the Zabbix is built in a way that every every version, uh, your modules, your widgets that you uh, spend a lot of time and, and build yourself can actually break. And then you need to adjust um, the code and make sure that it runs on the recent version. So it's uh, quite a 
pain to maintain all of that. So getting back to the installation, like move to the directory. I told you, uh, user shares Abix modules. Then if we start with a compact dashboards, uh, you just need a clone repository and it's available for free. So no nasty tricks how to actually get it. So just copy paste the command uh, here git clone. If you don't have a git, then just yum install git or dnf install git, whatever, or apt get if you're on Ubuntu or Debian. Um, this downloaded us. I have a couple of folders. Basically, each of these folders is uh, independent widget or module, but it's there. Believe it like Zabbix UI modules compact. Uh, here it is modules compact dashboard. Then we need to change the ownership because like if we can see here, a compact dashboard is owned by root by root and we will change the correct ownership to Apache um, like this. Copy paste the command. We're kind of done like in the CLI, but since we're here, let's also install the second widget, which is hide widget header. And again, move to the same directory. Again, we have a free repository. You don't need to pay anything. So just uh, grab this git clone. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Uh, it does. OK, so we have it. And then again, change uh, the ownership of the table to Apache so that our HTTPD uh, daemon web engine can access it. That's it. So right now we should have two new modules that we just need to load in our Zabbix. And to do that, just go to the Zabbix instance where you want to use it, uh, 7.0 in my case. Again, I will cancel from the dashboard view. Um, go to administration, general modules, and we need to scan directory. And we have two new modules. By default, they are disabled all the time. So we can filter by disabled. There are two of them, compact dashboard and hide widget header. Um, let's do it like this, open a dashboard. See spacing here, right? It's small, not big, still takes some space, especially if you have like multiple widgets in a row and compact dashboard. Let's enable it, enable it and go back to the dashboard, refresh the page and voila, you have much more free space in your dashboard. Second one about the header. So let's say we change this show header apply and also here and also here and save the changes. So if I move those pop up and trigger my OCD, and if I want to get rid of that, then go back to the modules, hide widget header, enable it, enable it, and go back here, refresh the page, and nothing happens. See, like those who still have enabled uh, to have a header, it doesn't disappear, it still appears there, but there's no like popping on and off, right? So if we want to hide it, just show header disable, apply, save, and voila, nothing happens. So hope this was helpful. Uh, I do hope that you're going to use this in your uh, dashboards. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we're going to see you later in the next videos. So far, bye bye.